experiment, we're going to be trying to bend the rays from coming from the sun into one spot onto the thermometer to see what happens. This is how we're going to do it. So if Lola could move over, we're going to come here using our magnifying glass here. We're going to come closer and closer to make it hot. Here is the thermometer and as you can see, it's right now 15 degrees Celsius. Celsius. So now we're going to try and concentrate the magnifying glass onto this part of the thermometer to see what's going to happen. So you have to get it in the right angle to have all the sun's rays in and one And as you see spot. that bright thing, if you put your finger on it or any object, it can actually like burn. burn. Here we are. So Especially in the thermometer's summer. degree should start begin to begin to rise right now because we have all the sun's rays concentrated onto one spot using the magnifying glass. As you can see, if you can see there, it's over 20 degrees Celsius right now. So it raised over 5 degrees by doing this, which is really cool. Here we are. So, yeah. There it's we getting are. higher. How high is it now? It's like nearly up to, like, so it's like maybe 24. As you can see, it's 30 to 5, 35, 35 degrees. degrees Celsius. So we've raised it by 20 degrees than it originally was by bending all of the sun's rays onto this one spot of the thermometer using our magnifying glass. This is now really it's cool. getting to 40. Oh wow, it's getting even higher. <laughs> this is cool. There we are. Using concave and convex lenses like this, you can make many different things such as glasses that help you read, microscopes, binoculars, and projectors for movies. When you mix them or have them singular, you can bend light to make objects look bigger or smaller. But in our case, we bend the light to make the thermometer's temperature go up. 